Let's say good evening to Harvey Yunga. Hey, Harv, good to see you. Good to see you, too. How are you doing, Greg? Doing, doing very well. And it's nice to know that uh, as my career goes along, Kalani, I can, I can cover guys as players, and then they stick around as grad assistants, then they get to be coaches. And it seems like I've known Harvey a long, long time. I'm sure you feel the same way. But, Harvey, uh, first of all, just the excitement of being uh, a full-time coach uh, where you went to school. Oh, it's um, – where, where's can I express how grateful I am for it? Obviously, I mean, Kalani knows I, I, uh, I've had – this uh this dream and this goal in mind for a long time um and then you know having to progress through the graduate assistant phase and then you know being fortunate to um you know have the position now it's, it's been a huge blessing um before everything happened i um I'm not gonna lie I, I started reaching out to you know as many coaches as i could trying to touch base with people even started talking to high school coaches and you know just wanted to stick around coaching and, and, you know, make this a profession. And fortunately things worked out how they did. And, um, Kalani, I think he saw something in me. So he uh, <laughs> gave me the chance to do what I'm doing now. And I'm just forever grateful for him. Did you have a formal interview for the running backs coach job with Kalani? Yeah, actually. So it's funny you asked that. Um, I, I had to meet with, you know, coach Grimes and then spoke with coach Roderick and, and, um, and then obviously with Kalani and in my head, I'm thinking, you know, Kalani's, it's going to be a breeze. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll nail this. And he by far was the hardest of the three that I, I had spoke to. And uh, it, it was a good thing though. Cause it, it definitely helped me, um, you know, prepare for whatever, you know, next step is to come in this profession. And, and I'm just, I'm grateful for that, but he definitely caught me off guard. <laughs> what about, Harv made him the right choice for a running backs coach. I've known Harv since he was a baby. So uh, seeing him grow up and, and get to, you know, becoming an athlete that he was and playing here. Uh, and, and then his, his um, interview was a four year process hmm. since 2016. And I watch him as interaction with people and, and players. And he's committed to building young men into men. And um, I, I, I really like, I, I can honor the things that he does because I, it's just, it's well in line with what we do here at BYU and and as a coaching staff he, it, it fits in perfectly. So uh, he he's humble and you know he he's 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 gonna get the most out of his his guys. But more than anything, he's committed to those young men and you see the the camaraderie that they have with each other. And uh, Harvey's Harvey's an amazing job as a coach. And the interview process is just I have to I have to be hard on him, you know, because uh, a lot of people. Uh, have high expectations of him. I do too. And I think Harvey right now is just scratching the surf surface on what he can do as a coach. He's got a bright future and he's got a great mind and, and uh, he brings a lot to the table in that room and then with Coach Grimes and A-Rod and the rest of the group. And so, uh, plus he, he's got the stats to back it up. Way, way more stats than I do, that's for sure. But uh, it, it would have been, I would have loved to play for, you know, block for a guy like him. But uh, that guy is blocking and, and he's he's basically providing a way for our, our running backs right now, and I couldn't be more proud of him. Harvey, I know you want to keep your guys hungry and motivated, but are you okay to brag on your running backs a little bit right now? Can you tell us about your room and, and, and what you've liked most about your backs' performance this season? Oh, yeah. I mean, it, when it comes to talking to those guys, I'll for sure brag about them. I, I love those guys to death. The, um, one, one of the biggest things that I've, I've learned about these guys is there isn't – any one of them that would ever make this about them. And I've, I've learned in the past and in, in the years um, playing and then, you know, getting into the coaching side of it as a GA, that some of the greatest players that have played here um, have that same kind of mentality. And and it's something that obviously, you know, it, it falls in line with what, what Kalani, you know, he's, he's preaching to the team about being selfless and, um, you know, just learning and loving and, and taking care of one another. And in this room, that's one of the things that I've I've really come to appreciate and something that I love because it, it was something that I remember, you know, being here as a player. And then even before then, um, listening to the stories that, you know, Kalani and his teammates have, um, the, the stories of, of just their camaraderie, the love that they had for one another, looking out for one another. Um, and then obviously them going on to have, you know, successful years here. It, that's one of those things that in this group, there's, there's not one person that ever makes it about themselves. And that, that's the one thing I appreciate more than anything with these guys. 
Okay, you've got a one-two punch going on right now. If we could have you talk a bit about Tyler Algier and then Lopini Katoa. Oh yeah, well, I mean, the the one of the things that I I came into this room and and as a coach, I was trying to tell like I want these guys to be an all-around back. I don't want them to be you know one-dimensional and just be focused on one thing. Like for our offense to you know be as as effective as it can be, we need those guys to be able to pass, protect, run. Um, you know, run block, whatever it is, catch the ball. And both of those guys can do it all. I, I think, you know, Tyler's one of those that I think a lot of people were sleeping on him. Um, he, he's very deceiving. You, you wouldn't think that he's as fast as he is, but um, he's got a little extra kick in his step that definitely um, you, you can see it uh, from time to time. And it's it's very deceiving. Um, and then with, with Beanie, he's, uh, I like to think of him as our Swiss Army knife. The kid can do everything. He, he can, if we need him to go line up as, as a slot receiver, he can run routes. He's got great hands. Um, if obviously he can run the ball, uh, he's, you know, he's got the yards to back it up. And and, um, and then his leadership is, is something, both of those guys, I think Beanie is one of those guys that definitely, you know, he leads by his example, but at the same time, you can feel his presence. And, and he's, uh, he's definitely a vocal leader that the guys look up to. Um, and then Tyler, he, Tyler's a little on the quiet side, but when he talks, everyone listens and, and those guys, you know, he's, he's earned the respect of his teammates. And I, you know, I'm just, I can go on and on about these guys, but they're, they're both studs, both amazing athletes. And, and I'm just grateful to be their coach. Well, I know that you and the boys are fired up for Friday night. Uh, good luck to you and the running backs uh, on the blue turf. Kalani, will will let you say good night to Harvey and so long for us. Love you, bro. <laughs> Love you, too. I'll see you in the morning. Let's go. <laughs> Soon enough. <laughs> Thank you, Harvey. That's Harvey Yunga. Right.